What's up, guys? So before we get the review going, man, just a big shout out to Vex5, Bang Kiwi56, and Dal Boons for helping me get the review done a little bit faster. So here we go. Jermaine Johnson, Easter Edition, 91 overall, dual style, pass rush, run stuff style. 6 foot 2, 94 speed, 95 XL, 88 zone, 83 catch, 90 play rate, 95 man, 93 agility, and 85 press. Also has an 82 spectacular and an 80 catching traffic, which really comes in handy when you're when you're a, a, a corner beat with six foot two height. Believe me, he will make some amazing interceptions. Now, 91 jump is not the best, but trust me, that six foot two frame really comes in handy, even with a 91 jump. So, anyways, man, enough of the stats. Let me show you what he can do on the field. So when you think of Tremaine Johnson, you know the first thing you think of, of course, is that six foot two frame, and his best rating is his man to man and of course right here I'm testing that out first definitely did solid like right here he's definitely beat but because of that height I believe that he got that animation and you know got that little boost at the end and knocked the ball out so man to man is definitely solid but you know what I feel that he does best is defending the deep ball which we'll get to later this right here is to show off his hands believe me had zero dropped interceptions and I don't think that he'll drop any for you at least not too many now right here you know like I said he will get picks whether he jumps up and you know um, fights for it or he'll jump the route like these right here and get it now he's not the most aggressive corner so don't expect him to you know jump too many routes but if that ball is in the air believe me you have a good chance of picking it off especially if you click on him now if you want to put him in the slot I guess you can do that you know he'll he'll do fine but I think that would be you know just a waste because like I said a six foot two corner that's great at stopping the deep ball would be so much better used out wide and even though I'm not a big fan of it I guess you could definitely put him at safety and right here he got killed with that press so also don't try to put him in press or don't try to press receivers with him 85 press is not gonna cut it he will get burned a lot so don't try to do that this right here trust me yes he will you know as good as he did or as good as he was at picking up the ball man he would definitely get beat from time to time this right here is that Des Bryant cutter. So like I said, a great rising up in the ranks player, but don't expect him to stop guys like Des Bryant or Balls Calvin or guys like that too often. Like I said, he's definitely a rising up in the ranks player. But this right here is what he did best, as I mentioned before, stopping the deep ball, which is what so many guys do nowadays. You know, they're just completely abusing the aggressive catch. So like I said, if you need a good player, man, at stopping the, uh, the deep ball, you can put him out wide or put him at safety I suppose if you need help stopping the deep ball you know if that's something you're struggling with put him out wide and watch him just go do damage and this right here is what I'd said you know the best way to use him put him out wide click on him if you want to and just abuse the six foot two frame jump up and cut off cut off the route and get the pick anyways guys that's gonna be the end of this review my final thoughts do I think he's worth 30,000 that sounds like a great price to me and of course his price would just keep dropping is he a top five budget corner I would definitely have to say so now, like I said, a great rising up in the pl or rising up in the ranks player. Not so much, you know, like if you're going up against, you know, guys like Boss Calvin and Boss Dez and guys like that. Now, I'm not saying he's worthless against those guys. I'm just saying he's not someone that you would want to play if you're, you know, consistently going up against those kind of guys. But like I said, if you're in like first string all pro or second string all pro, you know, still rising up, I would definitely uh, recommend trying to get this guy. But anyways, guys that's going to be the end of that man my next review is going to be for um, offense it's going to be the signature lamar miller defense it's going to be the signature clay matthews those reviews could be coming out tomorrow i know lamar miller would definitely be out tomorrow clay matthews might not be um coming out to maybe the weekend but anyways guys that's going to be the end of that i'll see y'all boys then man peace